All right, hello and welcome to officially episode 36 of Within the Range podcast with your boys Don Juan and Jared Suter. And Jared, today is very unique. Um, another first for us. Another first. It's a, it's a guest unlike we've had before. Absolutely. Um, this man is an artist, a comedian, a poet, an athlete. Um, I mean, I, I think I could keep going, but that's, I feel like that's a good start. Country music no, you keep going. <laughs> you keep going. Bodyguard security. <laughs> security. Uh, and let me add, just a good guy overall. Just a general good vibe guy. You know? Confirm, watch a full quarter of basketball with him to confirm it. And uh, 100%, <laughs> it's dude. It's official. Pass the test. It's official. But we've definitely been anticipating this one. Um, originally from Charm City by way of Phoenix, Arizona, the dean of Azademics. Truck the comedian. <laughs> it's good, man. So thank it's you good for good. coming on, man. It's an honor. The dean of academics of Herbie University. Let's do it. You honor, see the shirt. I got an honorary degree tonight. Not a, not a big deal. It's an honorary you're degree. Officially, you're officially an alum. <laughs> <laughs> man. Well, Chuck, yeah, man. Like Jared said, thank you for coming out. We wanted you on to not only be able to share your story and journey, but help bring ideas, inspiration, and creativity within range of everybody, man. So thank you again. Ain't no worries, man. I'm, I'm, I'm blessed that y'all let me come on, man. Like, I'm a big fan of the show. Y'all, y'all really do this the right way. Man, that's Appreciate love, that. bro. Appreciate love. that. Well, Jerry, let's get into it. Let's um, do it, man. I think it's only right we start with Hood Booty University. <laughs> How could we not, man? I'm wearing it on the chest right now, you know? So, Truck, for those who don't know, All right. teach us. All right, so... <laughs> I, uh... All right, so one of my best friends in this world, his name's, his name's D.B., uh, he's a producer. He's actually out in Atlanta right now doing crazy shit. Like he's gone platinum like four or five. It might be more than that. It's, I, I've lost track. Like wow. He's he's worked with Dirt, Future. Uh, he he went platinum with Nardo Wick. Like he, he's oh, doing he's doing Nardo. some big shit. He just had That's a place, crazy. placement with yeah, Lil Baby. Are, like those are his Shout biggest names. Get dude. That's <clears> dude, it. for yeah, real. Big as they get. Hundred percent. So DB's out there doing big shit. I uh, I played football in college. And I ended up at a small school out in Tennessee. And me and DB were, were playing together there. And DB had just started making beats. I was, I mean, I, rap runs in my blood. It wasn't, it wasn't nothing like, it wasn't brand new to me. But me and DB started like, really like making songs together. I ended up being like the, the, the first artist to ever like record and put out a song on one of his beats. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah. no way. So... Got in on the ground floor. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. So me and DB, we was just sitting in the dorm room and just work on stuff. Like, whatever. He was making beats. I just started bullshitting, rapping, freestyling, whatever. One day, I get a call. I'm, I'm in the room fighting crime. I was playing Batman. <laughs> yes. I love that game. I love that game, dude. Was that Gotham? Was yeah, that Gotham? Yeah. 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 Arkham, Arkham crime, Knights, dude. dude. Yep. Hell Some yeah. lie, dude. Yep. Just doing it, just your civic duty. You know? <laughs> Some people I'm go saying, to jury yeah. duty, others I, get it in the get in Gotham. Exactly. <laughs> you know what I'm Vigilante. Vigilante Let's shit. Go. So I uh, I'm in the rooms and they're fighting crime in, in the dark. That's the only way to play Batman. <laughs> <laughs> I guess my phone ring. It's DB. Oh, I'm man. like, yo. He said, yo. I think I just did some shit. I was like, what you mean? He's like, come up here. I was like, all right, bet. So I go, I run upstairs. I walk in the room. He, he got this big ass shit eating grin on. <laughs> <laughs> I call it hood booty. <laughs> <laughs> he, he just, look, I call it hood booty. Like, don't even look at the space bar. Press space. Do, do, do. Beat just hit hard as shit. I'm like, oh shit. Like, this is it. Oh, you did some shit. Oh, you did some shit. Oh my god. I just started freestyle. I was like, golly, she must be from the hood. Uh, How you how you know that big T? What you mean? You can't see that big peach, right? Yeah. (laughs) From there, that that was 2019. Okay. And two years later, 2021, I I finally had my homeboy uh, fly guy D. He let me in this in this studio in this house. We recorded Hood Booty, and it took two years to go from us sitting in that room, like he met him making the beat, to me going to record it. Wow, two yeah. years! I wasn't rapping. I was like, I, like I said, life. it was just yeah. living life, playing football, yeah. focus. Yeah. At that point, fighting I was, crime. At that point, I was going to the <laughs> NFL. Like <laughs> you're playing GTA, you come in a little crime too. No, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know saying, life is all about balance. So. <laughs> 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 coming quick oh it's early dude it's early it's coming quick he's got me spitting out my beard dude (laughs) 
All about battles. So, sometimes you got to chainsaw a hooker in a video game. Sometimes yeah. you got to save a, mug, uh, save save a mugger, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, that's amazing. And so, yeah. and so how did you become, how did you get granted the Dean of Azademics? <laughs> yeah. Self-proclaimed, you have to, yeah. you have to fight. Were you nominated or what? Yeah. <laughs> so another, another group, my friends, we all, we all, uh, we all played at Ottawa together. And, uh, when I made Hood Booty again, it was like the first they've heard of me rapping. So yeah. Yeah. it went from nothing to hearing this, this song that. I mean, I think it's pretty great. You know what Absolutely. I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it goes from nothing to hearing this song. They're like, yo. So it like, it took off around school. Like people. Yeah, like, okay. Around yeah, like campus? It, it took off around campus. Like people Damn. people were fucking with me heavy. Like there was, the volleyball team would send me videos of like them in hotel rooms. Yeah, the volleyball the team? So oh, yeah. like, motherhood booty <laughs> twerking and shit. I'm like, oh shit. Like, <laughs> damn. So. <laughs> wow, that's but, like, crazy. I was like, um, so hood booty. And they were, they, they were like hood booty university. They came up with Hoopoo University, Dang. and I was like, and I was like, yeah, I'll be the dean of academics. Yeah, yes. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I so I like it. it though. The fans named Hoopoo University, then, right? Pretty or much, did, yeah. They did. Wow. We were all in college. They I were like, gonna, yeah. I was gonna say, if you're and if you're gonna have a, a sport, a female sports team repping Hoopoo University, I would say volleyball is probably one of your best <laughs> the, bets. You know, you know, unless you, know you get like, to the sprinters. You if you need. get to the sprinters, <laughs> <laughs> the hurdlers, yeah, there there's some five four shorties for you. <laughs> Oh, but that's awesome man. that's incredible so, all right now so you grew up in Bodymore. yes lord okay um so one one thing i, I gotta ask doing doing our homework um is it true that your actual house has been featured in actual episodes of the wire yeah <laughs> for real so, go ahead it, it just like in different like camera different flicks shots. and stuff on the wire yeah like you'll, you'll just see my neighborhood all over the place and there, there's a couple episodes where I can see the grocery store across the street from my house, and I just my house is right there in the back. Wow! Yep, that's crazy. That's One of the greatest shows of all time. People, <laughs> people definitely. I mean, it's on my top ten. I would oh, say. I think that's a unanimous. Like, but look on Rotten Tomatoes or the whatever the Rolling Stone. Because I mean, to me, it's like any show that can go four plus seasons, especially you know in 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 the market at, at that time. Man, it says a lot. Uh, I also got to ask you, being from that area, Blue Crab. Yeah. Okay. I know about Blue Crab because a guy I used to work with, he was from Maryland. He would always talk about Blue Crab. And I'm like, what is the deal? I still have never had it. Explain to the people why Blue, Blue Crab is overrated, underrated. What, what are we talking about? Gosh, it's, it's love. It's, it's work now. Okay. But, okay. Nice. So, okay. Crab, crab's good as hell, right? Mm hmm. I'm a crab guy. If, if I'm sitting alone, right? Like, sitting alone, or it's just me and, me and Shorty, whatever. It's crab legs all day. Ooh, okay. right. Okay. Now, what we do with crabs in Baltimore is it's 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 a it's a come together kind of thing. Okay. We go, we get a couple bushels, we sit out, we put the paper on the table, okay. we sit there, bump music. This is more like, like an East Coast it's, crawfish it's, it's, boil it's a, it's kind a of deal. Oh, thing, yeah. I like that. Pour it on the table. Now, now we just sit there laughing, bullshitting, eating these eating these crabs amongst you know people we love. People is this we, like Old Bay saying? corn in the big pot? Like is, is that what some you big potato or? thrown in there? Like, in my neighborhood, it's just it just be Old Bay. It just okay. be just crabs. Old Bay. Okay, oh, wow. just Old Bay just crab. crab. You, you, go out, wow. you, all, you all go out in Maryland. It's it's the crab and the I mean the corn and the, the stuff. Okay, and all that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. all right, got it. <laughs> I mean you're just down to business. Who wants the corn? You're there. For the crab, <laughs> yeah, right? you're there for I the mean, crab. Yeah. Let's get to it. I'm already cutting every part of my finger and mouth for this crab right now. What am I? Only extra. Only extra shit in my teeth. <laughs> uh, more or less work than crawfish. More. More work. Uh, you wow. got more it. worth it though. You Better reward. Or are you a crawfish guy? Would you go? I'm not a crawfish guy. Not a crawfish guy. Okay. I've, so I've, I'm, I'm a crab guy. I think. I've had, yeah. I've had it a crab over times. crawfish all day. Crawfish got to be in like an A two face. Someone has to mm -hmm. have already done the work for me, yep. and right, I can right, mix right. it in with the dirty rice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm about to hit Papa Dough right now. <laughs> I was gonna <laughs> say, yeah, make a call after this. I'm, I'm big on. I don't want my food looking at me. I don't need to see the whole. You don't want to pick it from the tank. I yeah. Look, yeah. <laughs> if, if I had to go kill my own cow, I'd be vegan. I, ain't gonna watch. <laughs> yeah, you I want that one. That's yeah. That is a little weird. People do that. <laughs> All right. So even though you grew up in Bodymore, you were technically born in Wyoming. I was born in Wyoming. Okay. Right. All right. Wow. Um, what a what a drastic difference. And from what I understand, too, a lot of that um, you kind of moving around was due to I think your pops kind of mm -hmm. being a coach. And then you, so if you can kind of talk about that, man, like you went from Wyoming and, and what was that path after that like for you? So I'm born in Wyoming, my, but my first time ever, you know, flying over to back, 
Baltimore is always going to be home. So okay. I'm a, mm-hmm. Baltimore is home, right? I'm from a lot of places. I've, I've lived all over this country, just again moving around with parents. So uh, same here. Born, <laughs> same here. Born in Wyoming. I uh, first time in Baltimore was six months. I, there's, there hasn't been a year in my entire life that I haven't been in Baltimore at least. At, well, every other as seen. an as an adult, it's, it's come down a little bit. But before up, up until like yeah. 22 years old, it was not a year in my life I wasn't there at least three four months of the year. Oh, you know wow. what I'm saying? Okay. And when and I moved there full time when I was 13. So like full time when I was 13. But again, it's always been home. Like it's always been the consistency in my life. Kind of your base, just, right? Yeah, my my yeah. own base. You know uh-huh. what I'm saying? I always had my family there, uncles, you know what I'm saying? It's just always been that. Um Wyoming, I lived there until I think like 11. Then I moved to Colorado. Okay. And for like a year and then from Colorado I moved to Baltimore. But yeah. Wow. And that's the pathway. Now, did you always, um, I know early on you played basketball. Did you always play football at the same time, or did you gradually move into football afterwards? Uh, I, so I played football. Okay. I was I was just out there. Okay. <laughs> I was just, I was just you were getting there. minutes? Was, every four, getting minutes, you know what I'm saying? I feel like I'm, that's high school or sometimes. Yeah, so they I'll, just put you in everywhere, dude. You'll be like D, wide receiver. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, whatever can fit you yeah. in, dude. Yeah. I was always just a little fat athletic kid, so then I, I played everything I could, you know, Everything I could. So, uh, but basketball was my, it was always my first love. Yes. I always always enjoyed it to this day. Four hundred plus pounds, I still go out there and hoop. Let's so. go. <laughs> hey, we play at the Y's on certain weekends within days, man. So let just me know that. if you ever want to come. Just say that. Let me know. I'm gonna be there. <laughs> but yeah, it was uh, basketball was always first love. It was. I mean, I ended up uh, getting hurt in college. I mean, oh. not college, high school. Sophomore year, I broke both the. Both the bones of my arms. Ooh, oh, they can see that. Is and that then, when you were at uh, Owen Mills? Yeah. Okay. Yep. So I'm sophomore year at Owen Mills. This man knows everything. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's my, it's my, world, my shooter. It's my shooter. Dude. Hey, home of the Golden Eagles, baby. <laughs> yeah. Let's go. I already know about that. Hey, cool. I, just, I just had my dad go to uh, Nardawit, Nardawar moment. <laughs> 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 you know that? <laughs> <laughs> Is that the black youngster one that does? Oh, yeah. How you know that? that? <laughs> he goes, how, how you know that? We, go, we love that. We that all the I time. I love that. Dude. Dude. That's amazing. Wow. She got hurt. She got hurt. I love that you do that. Yeah, that was sophomore year. Junior year, I broke my femur. Cheers to that. Broke your femur? Yep. Oh. The camera can't see it, but it's it's like. I'm sitting next to you. I feel like it would take some force to break that femur. What, I, what what did that to you? What beast like, did that to you? I grew like ten inches in a year and a half. Oh, okay. yeah. Is that a little yeah. catch up to do? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, I, I was basketball. I'm not ten inches in a year, dude. Yeah, I was, That's crazy. I, I was point. I was point wing going into high school, and I was. The center coming out. So. Wow. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Wow. Holy That's God. the girl that we could all wish, you know what I'm saying? Just in one, yeah. one year, like a couple years. Memes. It's like I went from, uh, hey, sir, to uh, uh-huh. I'll be taking your daughter. Out <laughs> <from that>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ten inches will change like a man, dude. Ten, like that. <laughs> you go, Ten inches is crazy, dude. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> five, eight to six, six in no time. Yeah. yeah. Five, nine freshman year of high school. Uh, five nine by junior year I was six seven. Oh, bro, five see, nine to six seven see, three on, years. I was on a similar path. I was like I was in the 99th percentile when I was like thirteen. Yeah, and I thought I was gonna be and all my you know I have a bunch of big giant six one six two big corn fed, your potato fed Irish. Yeah, stuff. <laughs> and uh, and I just I just I don't know if I didn't sleep enough or what, dude. But I swear to God, I, just, manager, I hit <laughs> high school. I hit high school and they were like five ten. Done. <laughs> <laughs> that You're done, dude. <laughs> Shit, I would love to see five ten. I'll tell you that. <laughs> Man. Ten inches a year is crazy. Though. That's what nuts. Are growing pains, like dude. Yeah. You laying in bed screaming. I mean, like growing pains, I never had until I was breaking shit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. Like, okay. I, yeah. I would. Just, I just that, knew that when would I. Be a pain. I knew when I was growing because I'd get hungry as hell. <laughs> <laughs> so I, that wasn't. That was the second time I had a growth spurt like that. When I was, let's see, what, man, what year is that? I was like seven. When I was seven, I grew seven inches in one summer. Whoa! Yeah, three months. Yeah, wow. one summer. I, I was nice. I was in my dad was coaching at Manhattan College at the time, so I was in New York running amok, eating everything I could. <laughs> I came I came back Good seven inches to taller eat, and Good wider. Place to eat. <laughs> <laughs> Good place to eat out there. <laughs> Damn, so your dad was coaching at the time too, seeing you growing just like yeah, yeah, yep. yep. yes. Well, Eat my boy. Well, dude, speaking of that, that's what I want to go into next. I mean, I'm sure that your pops was, you know, maybe some of your motivation mm-hmm. uh, for why you got into sports. So talk to us about your pops because 
I, I, I got some of the schools here. I'll list them. Uh, I got Morgan State, Matt Hang College, Casper College. Uh, he was Scott. <laughs> I mean, am I, am I right? Am I, am I? <laughs> this man is cold. <laughs> cold. So, I mean, and then, you know, rounding out, like, you know, he's, you said he was a scout with the Pistons. Yeah. And then is Carmelo Anthony? Mm -hmm. Did he coach Carmelo Anthony? He did. <laughs> Bro, I mean, talk, talk to me about that. Did you ever get to meet the man? I was just with him a couple weeks ago, actually. Carmelo? Yeah. Carmelo? Wait, what? Um, so yeah, my dad coached Carmelo uh, like all all the way from like eight years old all the way to like going into college. So uh, yeah, wow, dude. Like, oh, like, dude. What do I say? We'll, we'll get the dinner. It's a wrap. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on, dude. We're done. Man. What? So uh, Melo's always been you know big big part of my life because I mean I don't know if y'all can tell on camera, but I'm not small. So. <laughs> <laughs> I, from the age of 12 all the way to 17, I was wearing my shoe size was my age. Okay. So, okay. Wow. That's great. I don't know if y'all know much about 14 plus, but you can't find that shit nowhere. You have to special yeah. order, right? Exactly. I mean. But you know what I'm saying? Coaches budget, especially H HBCUs, like they're not, they're not making it like that. Like it sounds good, but they ain't got money like that. So 100%. yeah. Mellow and, uh, and, and his, his agent, my uncle Bay, They've always looked out. They've always kept me in shoes. Actually, yeah, I think these shoes I'm wearing now. Nice, man. Real? I, mean, I saw right them right when right you walked in. in man. That's yeah. crazy. Dude, those are the best stories too. Like Shaq does a bunch of that right now too. Mm -hmm. I know for people like dude, that's that's awesome, dude. Wow. Uh, yeah, when it's size fourteen, Melo wears a fourteen. So all the shoes he ain't want, he was. Uh. Wow. Mellow's hand me down. feel bad about my 10 and a half <laughs> over here, dude. I'm going to take my 10 and a half and go hide in the corner over there. Dude. <laughs> Oh, that's crazy. That's legendary, bro. Legendary. Wow. That's amazing. Yeah. All right. Wow. Stare at the bread like Melo and staring at Reed, dude. <laughs> <laughs> that is what he said. Yep. All right. I think I think we, we got to transition into it, Jared. It's music time? Well, no, before we get into that, uh oh. you're a comedian. Yes, sir. You've you've done stand-ups. Yeah. Uh you actually performed at High Street a couple times, which yep. is not down here. And by the way, next time you perform. Within range, we'll, we'll, we'll be, be in attendance. In attendance. Hey, we'll, we'll, we'll bring the ladies. It'll be a date night. We'll make Dude, a thing oh, of it, you know. I, and I just hope people know, like that's a that that's not um like you know, Jim Bob's haha -ha joke corner story <laughs> or anything. Like you know what I mean? Like that's not that's not. I to those two. You know what I mean? Yeah, like that's, that's, right, I just that's I just want I just want to make sure people know, like, because if you say like certain like concert venues around here they'll be like oh you were at comerica whatever they call it now or whatever yeah. it is but talking but right? yeah and talking to game theater whatever it is but like i just want if you don't know comedy out here like that's 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 the event like that tempe improv and yes then, and tempe then improv, improv CB live it and cb downtown. live and downtown. cb live yeah and downtown. they, I mean, and they got it. a copper blues up here too that, now yeah they do they have that there um yeah. but i mean that's it like those are the big venues out here that's there's really three and that's that's about as big as it gets for us out here i mean that's huge for comedy that's yeah. crazy how'd you how'd that happen so uh this guy's name is Ruben. He, he he throws shows out here. He it's like uh, it's 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 like amateur hour really, mm. and he just brings people who he likes. And uh, cool. he he got word of from me from the four eleven show. Shout out to, shout out to T Valau RTU. We seen you Justice. on the four eleven. Yeah, we'll yeah. talk about that in the music. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll get into it. You got a line so, there that needs to be talked about. Oh yeah, keep going. <laughs> yeah, okay. oh, dude, oh lord, for sure, it's going. <laughs> so um, yeah. Uh, Ruben heard about me from Sativa Lau, and he, he just gave me the chance. And I went up there the first time, and I killed it. I mean, I mean, I'm not. I don't like to, you know, what I'm saying like, I try to stay humble, but like sometimes. Hey, the like, laughter listen, speaks man. for itself. Talk your shit. Talk your shit. Kills a kill. Like, a kill. kill. Like, <laughs> if you got if you got any of the jokes you just want to throw out, just off the top of your head, I mean, feel free. Like, I'm just saying. Like, <laughs> we knew we knew this would be good. No, that's crazy. Yeah, you can't you can't hide that. People laugh, they laugh. Yeah, you know yeah, when you kill. Stupid. That's I mean that's a beautiful thing. I think that mm -hmm. a lot of comics that I mean I watch a lot of a lot of podcasts that are we're, popular. We're, we're, for comics, we're comedic guys. We love yeah, we, we love comedy. We love watching stand up. We love all that. And and they talk about that's one of the things I think comics love is you get that immediate feedback. You know, yeah. it's like same thing as a yeah, musician. It's true. You get that. You know when you're killing. You know yeah, when it's exactly. going well. There's no doubt in your mind exactly. when when the joke was funny. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> they show you. Exactly. That's amazing. Wow, man. Congrats on that. That really is. That's. I mean, that's a huge. Even if it was, you know, like you said, part of some amateur thing. It wasn't just yeah, open exactly. mic night there. You got invited. Mm -hmm. Like that's yeah. that's awesome, dude. Wow. And so I guess have you always just had like a sense of humor to you, like homies, like you, you know. Just because usually it's 
Early on as a kid, I know I was always said I was one of the funnier kids in my group. It was like your your homies would be the ones that would gas you up or yeah. tell you to do the shit. So. <laughs> so I was actually I was a quiet kid, man. I was I was just like so when when people from back home see me like rapping and doing comedy and stuff now, they're really completely like shocked. Away. Wow. Yeah, like they're completely yeah. shocked because like I mean I've always sat there, I stayed quiet. Like I always I always had stuff in my head, but like I, yeah. I just always just never said it. So now people see me like doing this, and they're like. Where did this come from? Like, yeah. you know, this was what little... cocoon did you come out of? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah you know, my, 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 uh, metamorphosis. <laughs> my nickname growing up was Lil Black because my father, my father's nickname was Black, mm. Jim Black. So, Lil Black, they, they're like, y'all don't even know who you is the anymore. You, you're, not, you're, not, you're, not, you're not Lil or yeah, you don't want to be quiet anymore. What was you doing? <laughs> That's amazing. Yeah. Uh, it's funny. I feel like a lot of comics are like that. Like I'm trying to think now. Theo Vaughn had a, you know, he mm-hmm. had a tough upbringing. It yeah. sounds like he was a quiet. Richard Pryor, you know, different kid. Real, uh, real. Mm-hmm. Uh, um, Joe Rogan had a, had one too. Yeah. Um, yeah. Bill Burr sounded like his wasn't necessarily the easiest either. Sometimes. Yeah. So yeah. that's funny. That's cool. Yeah, they were quiet kids, but you grow up like you said. You, you're still thinking. Though. You, you always you had a perspective. About yeah. Mm-hmm. So you, mm-hmm. you know, what I'm saying you learn how to <laughs> how to how to take your thoughts and put them to what you should actually say. Yeah, yeah. So that's that's pretty much how I came. It's like a healthy thing to have, to look at it from that way too. I mean, obviously, if you make everything in your life a joke, that's out of bounds. <laughs> yeah, you don't want to. Do that. But at the same time, yeah, I'm, oh, I'm that guilty that too. I, I'm, 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 my my nervous habit is a laugh. So it's just you can imagine how the hell someone died. <laughs> oh, that's awful. Oh, <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I got to keep it together. My nervous <laughs> habit is to tell jokes. Again, tell jokes. Yeah, funerals are not the place to be for me. <laughs> <laughs> You're more of a funeral guy. A funeral guy. Yeah. <laughs> I like it. <laughs> But I feel like crazy. I've never heard of that. It's a funeral? Oh, I've that's never it. heard that's of that, dude. Wow. That's what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. Good. Yeah. you gotta have a funeral, and then uh, I saw this video recently. It was like a British guy, and he uh, he like recorded a video before he died. And when they lowered his casket in, he they they had someone play it, and it's like him knocking on a door, and he's like, "Hey, hey, let me out!" <laughs> oh, and everyone just starts dying laughing. That's I was insane. like, "That's that's something I'm doing. I love that. Yeah, but that's cool. I love it." Damn. So I gotta ask, and who who are some of your favorite comedians? Because again, we love comedy on this show, so. Oh man, I love Cat Williams, Dave okay. Chappelle. Um, How could you possibly beat those? I mean, really, like Cat yeah. Williams at his prime. Dave I mean, Chappelle. Right Dave Chappelle is is I think the, man's the greatest stand up of all time. Oh, yeah. Dave yeah, Chappelle, no question. I think he's past Richard, all them guys. Because Dave yeah. Chappelle did it. He's done it as stand up and as a show. Oh, like, he's man. got the funniest show. Of his all show time. is still mm-hmm. talked about. Yeah, like. I, I it, just it, made that joke. I was just talking, making a joke earlier. That's baller as fuck. We were yes, just talking yeah, yeah, we were, dude. <laughs> yes, dude. I true. Saw, I, I've, I've seen this meme a few times, and it's like it's like before memes or before social media, we used to just quote Chappelle show exactly. skits to each other <laughs> and laugh, it. dude. Like, is Wayne Brady gonna have that? <laughs> we're gonna, dylan, dylan, dylan. <laughs> I say that but, in the studio at least oh, twice oh, every time I'm in there. Dude, the World Series of Dice, get out of here. Oh, dude. Oh, Ashley Larry, dude. The race draft, the race. Uh, there's so many good episodes. Oh, we can't forget about the Rick James and the Rick Prince James. episode. Oh, I'm, I'm Rick James. Dude. <laughs> I, mean, all, I think I had that as a, a text tone for a little while. Too. <laughs> Flip on my sprint spin phone back in the oh, day, dude, back, in, back in middle school. Wow. <laughs> well, let's go with that. Well, I think it's only right we start off with hood booty itself. <laughs> we already talked about it. Uh, the words I just wrote down, I wrote down slapper. Um, you have a line that says they only grow one place, and that's the streets. <laughs> I mean, is and is that not the is truth that like or the what? Free range equivalent of a booty. It's like that's like you could grow them in a pen in a lab, uh, or something, but you yeah. want free range booty. It needs to be found in They're that. They're only growing one place. One that's place. Free, free range. It's a particular diet. It's it's yeah. I get it. Yeah, uh, I love it. it it's, it's the difference because you know what I'm saying the free range booty is a lot less expensive. <laughs> As bags, dude. Know, you know, free Hot range. Cheetos and fucking. <laughs> them free range chickens. And a slushy every so often. <laughs> them free range chickens, they expensive. Free yeah. Free. yeah that, those oh, lab grown, yeah, the, 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 the. Left side of do- left side of McDonald's, dollar menu. That's what <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, it's always bulking season for those. Girls. Always. Always, always bulking always. season. Never As it should good. be. As it should be. Dude. All right. Amazing. All right, I'll just go again. Um, shout out to this man because he's been on our show, Backwood Biddy. Yeah. Um, you guys, I think, are a dope combo on the track. I think in real life, it seems like you guys are like friends, good yeah, relationship. Dog, 
Um, just I think two of the tracks notably that you guys have done is Pressure, which we featured on the end, the outro of one of our episodes. Mm -hmm. um, you got a great video right. for that one. And then Freak, which I think is a strip club anthem. <laughs> Freak, it was great. And I saw, actually, Biddy, <laughs> Biddy promoted that the, today early, mm -hmm. and we liked it, Biddy. So, you know, we're seeing what you got going on, man. But uh, talk to me about y'all's relationship. Man, so, man, I think I think he went, went over how we, uh, how we met on his episode. So... Y'all go ahead and go back to his episode. You know what I'm saying? Bump that one up. Shoot. But a little cross promotion right there. We appreciate <laughs> yeah, you. That's like a trip that. DC different. Right there, <laughs> dude. Get out of here. Since 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 me and Biddy met, man, he's he's been a big part of everything I've been doing. Like I like I, I had no clue how to do it when I met him, and like just just him helping me walk through all of this, and like I wouldn't be where Chuck DC is at today without without Biddy like wow. looking out because you know what I'm saying he's been doing it longer than me, so. He's always been able to come to me like, yo, okay, these are the people you need to talk to. These are the people you need to talk to. This is the show you need to get on. This, you know what I'm saying? Like, and he's been doing that. And it, it got to a point where I was, t I took it all myself. Like now, now I understand. And like, like, <clears throat> again, outside of music, like that's my dog. Like Biddy, yeah. Biddy, Biddy is, that's my homie. Like, yeah. as of late, we ain't been on hang out like that because we both on work and survival That's life, mode, dude. But, that's sure. life. Dude. Yeah. That's life. That I had to move from Chandler to be able to see this guy more. Dude. I mean, dude, 45 minutes a lot or anything like yeah. that. I mean, I'm dead serious, dude. That's yeah, crazy. Right. Hey, when we're talking about Bagwell Biddy, we're talking about a guy making music on his phone. Like yeah, literally yes. his iPhone. So yes. if, yeah, if, if, if he, what if was, it, what was our episode called? No excuses? Yes, exactly. Dude, Bidi, exactly. Like, like, I mean, exactly. If, if anyone's going to teach you how to make it with no excuses, it's, 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 mm -hmm. it's Biddy, dude. He's Bad doing Bidi, it. Man. Dude, I even yeah. saw you guys. He was on the like the windshield of your car, of my car, fucking filming you, right? Yeah, like, we, we shot the video the boy, for the, the song "Over." I mean, he was on the front of my car filming, so we could get that. Hey, what yeah. what homies are doing that? Bro? You know, <laughs> ain't nobody. Really you gotta have that, dude. <laughs> no, right, no, no. Yeah, that's exactly. what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. It's like that's real support. Like that's that's boots on the ground stuff. Exactly. You know what I mean? Like yep. that's, he's there. He's there. Man, dude, I'm trying to talk about that overlooked heroes freestyle, dude. Yeah, how'd you get plugged in with that? They uh, we we found them. Yeah, I found them we because discovered of them. you. Yeah, correct. Um, yeah. and and started looking at that series. How'd you? How did you end up on that? So it looks like they have a series. They do shout out to shout out to Overlook Heroes, man, because that yeah. that was a cool thing. They Their have, setups cool. Seems like they have bandos in different cities, like a graffiti yeah, yeah. up house in different city that they just like yeah, let so. people do for them. And it's almost like the colors thing too, where you mm -hmm. got the mic hanging down. It was sick, dude. And. We'll talk about what you're sp speaking on there. You were just spitting facts for just minutes straight, dude. Man, I appreciate it. So, uh, Overlook Hero. So, last year, I was actually in a movie. <laughs> we, how do we miss that, no, Gary? That. We missed that. <laughs> of all the places we've had to check, we didn't check IMDb. God damn, dude. Come on, man. I went on the IMDb. <laughs> shout, out, shout out my guy, Wood. He, he put me in, in one of his movies. It's like, it's the craziest idea ever, but it's like, in my opinion, it's going to be one of the biggest series of all time. Like, down the road, like really? talk us about it. What is wow. it? it is, what like that, the about? idea is crazy. I'm like, y'all should have him on the show to just talk about it. Like, okay, we're working what? on some alien <laughs> theme guests if it's getting crazy. You know? oh, <laughs> yeah. oh yeah, it's, it's it's like like a street movie. I was just playing, you know, thug in, in the movie, uh, uh, transporter, like drug transporter. Oh okay. okay. So okay. you say uh, transporter, I'm thinking Jason Statham. That's what Don't I was thinking. Fired that's up what here. I was thinking too. Fired, fired up, dude. Yeah, truck I'll DC. So uh, I met met a dude through through that movie. His name's uh, Bose Moreno. He, okay, cool dude out of out of St. Louis. He uh, he ended up on Overlook Heroes. Overlook Heroes guy. Uh, he he just told me to hit him up. So I hit up, hit hit him up. I was like, Yo, uh, Bose told me about you. Like he was like, Yeah, yeah, I'm being I'm being Phoenix. You know, this week. Woo -woo. Oh shit. So I was like, Oh, bet bet. And he was like, and then uh, he was like, All right, hold it. It's gonna be next week. And I was supposed to be going flying home to Baltimore. This was like January fifth. It's cold. I was supposed to be going home to Baltimore like January January fifth. And he, he got there, and I was like, okay, we got to knock this out. I got to go get on the plane. Like, <laughs> so you did that in a hurry? Yeah. <clears throat> so that's within didn't range. Seem like it. That's <laughs> within range. Did right not there. seem like it, dude. You were just the what you were talking about there, though. It was so cool because I feel like you get this platform, and it's like. It's one thing to talk about a bunch of different stuff in your music. That's where you get to talk about what you want at your own pace. Mm -hmm. But like when you get to go on someone's platform, you obviously I feel like want to be a little more purposeful. And mm -hmm. dude, the shit you were talking about, dude, the line that stuck with me, you said, My team, we level up twice a week. 
Mm-hmm. And shit, this one is slow. Oh, <laughs> dude, that's hard. Again, you that's just got hard. the growth mindset. Like you can't just you can't just be good. You can't just be a good good at business. You can't just have one thing. And it just seems like you you know that, and you're like, it's not just that you work on it and and take it all seriously, but you're also having fun with it all. And I no, think that absolutely. brings like a certain level to it. Like that's why you can stand in front of a graffiti up house and drop a freestyle without talking about you weren't even you're not talking about selling drugs, doing anything crazy. Absolutely. You're talking about real shit the the recipe for success dude like having people in your crew that do stuff Mm -hmm. and And leveling up and having that mindset it's really cool dude so and and that's that's a line from that one is like i can't glorify the shit that came and took my niggas from me like Mm. i lost my uncle to drugs i lost my cousin carlos to street violence i lost you know Mm. what i'm saying like Mm. i lost my cousin uh, mr bill to street violence you know what i'm saying like rest in peace all of that wow like I can't glorify the shit that came and took my yeah, niggas from. That's you know what crazy. I'm like, wow, that's it, awful. I it's didn't not know like I never been around it. Not like I never seen it. Of course, yeah. you know what I'm saying I'm from Baltimore. Like, <laughs> it's called like, body I, more for a yeah. reason. Like, like ain't like I've never seen it. Never been a part of it. It's yeah. it's been a major part of my life forever. You know, but like I'm not gonna put all that negativity into my music. That's yeah. cool, man. Yeah. Wow, we respect that. More than I could have asked from asking about that freestyle. I'm glad yeah, I did. Yeah. That's, <laughs> what it that's what we asked. That's it. awesome, man. Yeah, that one. That one stuck. I think we could talk about one of the first videos of trucks that we saw, which is rightfully titled My Truck. <laughs> Dude. Um, first off, the video was dope. You murked it. Um, I, and then you said there, uh, a country coochie white production. <laughs> Bro. Dude, I, I heard that a lot. He had me at hood, hood booty hoedown, dude. He had me at that, dude. I'm trying to picture a hood booty hoedown. No, if y'all Sounds ever... like an event that would go down in Memphis. Dude. Just yeah, be fucking dude, for real. Good That'd in Memphis, crazy. dude. Wait till that. Wait till I start throwing hood booty hell downs. It's gonna be a imagine, problem within range. Will be in attendance. Could, yeah. yeah. <laughs> could you imagine? Okay, so let's see. Let me get this right. Could you imagine a bunch of free range hood booty university <laughs> students with with boots on and money bag yo playing in the club? <laughs> that would be crazy, dude. <laughs> that would be. That's it. You can't write that, dude. That's, oh man. Just how, that's go, how do you go wrong with that? Dude? <laughs> you can't. Dude. Yeah. that's amazing yeah dude my truck's sick dude i love the country thing it's uh yeah. what made you what made you do that like what i think it's a cool lane I, and it's a lane to me that it's like it's like a dangerous one right because mm-hmm. you can be corny really quick yeah and 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 but when it's done right you the commercial opportunity is huge mm-hmm. right and i feel like there's it's it's one of those things yeah there's a there's country stars and stuff but there's new country car- stars coming up all the time they're pretty good about that like about mm-hmm. having new stuff like is that a lane that you would you would like keep keep growing into is it just something you were messing around with or how'd that one come to because it, it worked really it well, did man. work dude. So- you killed it. <laughs> i feel like you got to be a big guy to to pull it off almost too like you mm-hmm. pull it off you yeah yeah it, it works so i mean as far as country, I mean, like my mom's white, so she's big on country. Well, she wasn't when I was growing up. I had a black mom growing up. I had to, let me just put that out there. <laughs> it was it was it was Tupac and Fifty Cent and Akon heavy. Okay, Akon. Okay, oh, Akon. Dude, now, don't, get now, don't get me started on some Akon. Don't get me started on some Akon. Now nowadays she that. nowadays she likes country. So like it it, it, it is it is rooted. I, 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 there's a couple of country songs I fool with. I got a song, uh, a playlist on Spotify called White Bops. White Bops? I like that. I yeah, seen that, one that says that songs it. that excite the white folk. That one kills me, dude. It's like Mr. Brightside, Green Day, yeah. and shit. Uh, Sweet Caroline. Yeah. 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 Sweet Caroline. Yeah. Yeah. John yeah, Denver, always. take me home. <laughs> Some fucking Toby sorry. Keith. I love this bar. Yeah. Oh, oh, shit. Okay, speaking so, of some some country. Oh, sorry. Go, go, go. What was it? Oh yeah. So so as as far as country goes, like I fool, there's there's some country I fool with. But as far as like making that a lane, I think my lane in general is just like having fun. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah. saying? That's love a good that. lane. So, That's yes. the right lane. Yes. Because everything's open to you. Because exactly. fun's everywhere. Correct. That's amazing. Yeah. Like it's just having fun and making music that I want I would want to listen to over and over again. And and that's it. So my truck came about as a joke, and I was like, me, I take jokes way too far. So, <laughs> so, so there had to be a music video naturally. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So, like I was, the dude was talking to me about making a, a a country rap song. He was like, we need more of that, and I was like, man, fuck it, I'll do it. <laughs> <laughs> that's amazing. So I go, I'm I'm sitting in the room one day. I'm like, hold on, man, my truck got that cool plan. And then I went on on YouTube and found a, a country trap beat, and like the, the <laughs> third, fourth amazing. one I found, I was like, 
oh, this is it. 15 minutes later, I had a song fully written. 15 minutes. <laughs> you did it that yes. quick? <laughs> See, that's having fun, though. That's having, that's having fun. fun. You weren't well, overthinking. Exactly. You weren't, there was no decision anxiety. Exactly. You were just going. When you're having fun, like, it, it don't feel like work. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Well said. Like, so, that's so 15 cool. minutes later, I had a song. Two hours later, I had a, a demo. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and I was just about to like just send it to my homeboys and like yo haha look what I did. And then I booked the studio time to go and actually do it. <laughs> yes, that's amazing. <laughs> and hood booty, uh, hood booty hold down and all that. You guys should come and see me in the studio. It's like that every time, dude. We've been, we've been <laughs> talking yeah, about doing within range, like like in the studio sessions. Like we want to be a part of that, man. So uh, yeah, like <laughs> let us know. We're waiting for the right vibe. I think we might have found it here. Dude. Yeah. <laughs> well, truck, you, dude. I I just have to say, and and a lot of people may not know about this, but you have a line in there that says at 4H this weekend. Last year I placed second. This year they ain't touching me. I learned. I recently learned what 4H was. So when he said that line, I was like, you want to explain to people what the 4H what 4H is? So 4-H is like, okay, I don't know how many animals it pertains to, but <laughs> at like county fairs in the back country, they have, the only reason I know it is because I, I had a, a little friend, a homeboy back in the day who did 4-H and he used to always come to school talking about it, mm -hmm. right? One of the only white people in the entire school. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, I'm getting out Caucasian on my own show, dude. I'm getting out Caucasian for sure right now, dude. So, I don't know, 4-H, dude? I, I know, Triple H, yeah. brother. <laughs> Sorry. You got no 4-H, dude. Triple H is crazy. I know Triple H. I don't know. I don't know if there was a fourth, so, dude. Yeah. So he used That's to come funny, in and talk dude. about it all the time. He had, he had these 4-H pigs. He used to take these, uh, these, these, these rodeos and, yeah. and county fairs and... All of that, and it'd be a contest. Buck days. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> I dad going, like I said, I wrote it in 15. Like, everything I knew about country went into that song. Like, that's back that's with Biddy Hustle right there, dude. It that's is, dude. iPhone 15 minutes, dude. I love it. That's crazy. <laughs> pretty, like, all, I feel like all of my hits is that. That's that's how, how quick I wrote it. Like, love that. It's, it's it pretty, just comes it's pretty naturally. Quick. It just comes through. It just keep going. And then the ones that take time and I struggle with, those are where I get, like, the, the, the deep, sentimental songs you yeah. know like uh or the freestyle that 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 took me like i, I was in the biggest writer block ever at that really time. yeah wow. really and for that I, I, I sat there in my house for like four hours like not answering calls trying to finish that you're talking about the 411 mm -hmm. no the oh, oh. the uh, the the we, unsung heroes uns oh Overlook the unsung heroes, heroes. oh the yeah, yeah, yeah. heroes yeah 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 Overlook okay heroes. okay Overlook yeah i heroes. see that um hey shit Time well spent. Yeah, like, <laughs> yeah, it showed too. So certain things like take time and like the funny thing. So, Truck DC stands for Truck the Comedian. Yeah. So when when I make the funny stuff, it's just like it's pure fun. Like the my trucks, the hood booties, the uh, I got some other stuff, but Truck the Comedian does that. When I was gonna say it's hard to tell what's 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 humor and what's not because it's good. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's like high quality too. So it's not even like oh that. this is a joke. Like it's yeah. like yeah shit. And, <laughs> and, and that's how I do it. I like. I feel like lyrical rap is is put into a box a lot where it has to be like boom bap, this that and the third, which I have no problem with. Mm -hmm. I can do that just as well as you know what I'm saying. I believe anybody else, but like when it comes to making a party song where there's like actual lyrics in it, like that's what I want to do. Like yeah. so, it, yeah. it can still bang, but like yeah, if you yeah, actually yeah. go sit there and listen to it, your brain cells ain't going nowhere. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome. Well, and I mean, you got. A lot of good songs that I think show your diversity, which I think you're you're touching on now. And one of those songs is Ice. Um, you were singing on the chorus on that one. I was. So, Not very well, but I was Well, singing. no, listen. No, I thought, well, at first I was like, I questioned if it was you singing. Mm -hmm. And then I was like, okay, it's Truck. But again, <laughs> listening to your catalog and going through it, like that one, um, I just feel like you kind of stepped outside of a different lane. Was there anything special about that song that kind of came to you? or That was like second, third song I ever made. Ice? Yeah. Really? Mm -hmm. Wow. So uh, I thought that was one of your more, like, I would actually, say like maybe poly songs. It felt like it was like later on in your career. But Actually, from the moment I decided to like really take music seriously, that was the first song I ever put out. Like, so, wow. Yeah. That, that always I, happens, I, I dude. We that. always find one song like that. Yeah. Like, they're like, it's like older and we're like, this is a gem. That's this what is, I like, mean. This, <laughs> was like, this sounds like you did this in the OVO studio, dude, or something. <laughs> and it's like, it's, they're like, God, oh, I did that in my fucking broom closet, dude. <laughs> yeah, no. I, dead ass, like, I, I did that in the the closet of my dorm room. No. Wow. We <laughs> called crazy. it. crazy. Ottawa? Yeah, yeah, Ottawa? No shit. Let's hey, swear. Go. Swear. It's a little <laughs> hip hop history in Ottawa University right there. Man. Um, 
I'm trying to talk about that 411 freestyle because you got a line in there. That's one we used. You mentioned that a little bit earlier in the episode. Um, do you got a line on there? I think you said my slaps heard around the world like I'm Will, Will Smith. Smith. <laughs> dude, nasty. Dude. I, yeah, dude, I, I did the super hot fire. You know what I mean? That one. <laughs> everyone just all of a sudden there were people behind me, dude. Just. <laughs> It was the end of Eight Mile. It was crazy. Dude. I heard that. I fucking the end of it. died, dude. You were just like going because you were. I mean, there was a bunch of bars on there. I could have written down ten of them, but I always got to put like at least one of my. That one just killed me, dude. It's my slaps heard around the world. Yeah, that's, like a that's Will it. Smith. That's it. I think I was just talking about like where I want to be in the future. And I'm yeah, like, I want I want my slaps heard around the world like I'm Will Smith, dude. Yeah, that's genius. That's genius, right? It's awesome, dude. It was a good one. I was a good freestyle, dude. I love that. I appreciate that. Man, what else? Oh, I found a funny one, Jared. Uh, naughty and nice. Yes, Lord. Mm, dude. Okay, <laughs> let me let me tell you let me tell you where I was when I heard that. So I'm I'm a recruiter by day, and I will go to ASU for events. And you know, again, we're we're preparing for your episode. We're listening to your music, going through your catalog, and I'm pulling out of the ASU parking lot. And Naughty and Nice comes on, and I'm like, okay, this sounds like a strip club anthem. And then I realize what you're talking about. And I'm like, this dude's freaking calling out Santa and the L's, talking about Miss Claus, fine as hell. I'm like, I'm like, dude, I was like, I've never heard yeah. anybody take a song like that. Bro, the creativity on that, I thought it was hilarious. Give us some insight on that one, man. All right, so... <laughs> Like it was Ottawa University again, Hubble University. Yeah, shout man. out Ottawa University. Yeah, there's, some, there's something in the water. You <laughs> might have to do some yeah, shows over there. Ottawa, dude. Hey, uh, Hubble University is worldwide, but <laughs> we ain't gonna lie where it started. At. I mean, it, it started at Ottawa. So there'll be a plaque there for uh, sure. Dude. There'll be a plaque. That's, yeah. that's HBU. So <laughs> uh, my boss at the time, we we used to just always hang out in her apartment and just chill. Like all, the, I was an RA in school. Like. I, I was the one that ain't never telling nobody. I just I just needed that scholarship. You know what I'm saying? So <laughs> that could have used you at ASU. Man. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm I'm sit, we sitting in the apartment. It's me, a couple of the other RAs, my boss, and little most little, little innocent little white girl you ever seen in your life. Her name Gracie. Shout out Gracie. <laughs> she gonna say, man, what we really need is a real ratchet ass shaking Christmas song. Exact words. Wow. Exactly. You've never heard of that. So, where, where, Sometimes I mean, with white girls, there's like a there's like an, a, a relationship, an inverse relationship between height and their like their street credibility. That they're shorter <laughs> than white girl comes. I knew a few five one, five two yeah. girls that were crazy, dude. I wouldn't. Yeah. They knew more Young Dolph than me, dude. <laughs> <laughs> they knew way more Young Dolph than NBA Young Boy, dude. They were like, you don't know this one? <laughs> they're they breaking their steering wheel, word, dude. Word, yeah, dude. Word for word, except that one word. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> That's funny, yeah. dude. Uh. So that's all I needed. I, I went into the dorm room and dead ass that day. Wow. <laughs> that Man. day I got I wrote it. That's crazy, dude. I so you're just the same next day morning. production, dude. Yeah, you're I, quick to you're quick to act on your, yeah, on your I, talent. Because if I don't, I'm going like nah, whatever. I'm be bored of it. Yeah. yeah. So like I, I I get it out. I, I get it out. I, and then I make sure if I fall in love with writing it, I'm immediately recording it. If I fall in love with the recording, I record it again, <laughs> and then it's out. So I think from the day we did that to the day I put it out, I think I put it out like Thanksgiving. Okay. Yeah. It's holidays. So it's <laughs> awesome. I love it. It was like three, four days before Thanksgiving that I made it. That's perfect. I love it. I'm trying to think of the only other the only other competing hip hop Christmas song I can really think of is is East Atlanta Santa by Gucci. Man. Oh, by yeah. Gucci. I'm a neighborhood philanthropist selling <laughs> yeah. bales of cannabis, dude. That's all time, dude. You're on that list uh, now. I love it. I, <laughs> it. I mean, I want I want uh, Naughty and Nice to do big things. I'm trying to what what the mode I'm in right now is just trying to find a way to get an abundance of money so I can make either my truck or Naughty and Nice. Blow. Wow. Okay. And we brought both can, those songs up. Today. I, I know if I can make one of those blow, it will at least get eyes on me to where they'll Man. hear the rest of it. Wow. All right. So That's if you awesome. had to queue up two songs that you were like, okay, I got, I've got a guaranteed listening session with so and so or whatever it is, and if they like it, they'll put put you on. You'll mm -hmm. make it. Would those be the two you load up? No. Oh, as, okay. As far okay. As, but those are the as ones. Far as the like, party anthems. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like, as far as like uh, getting everybody else to to help me blow up, like. TikTok wise, 
my truck in Naughty and Nice. Okay, okay. yeah, I okay. see that. Okay, that makes sense though. I see that. 100%. What about what about handsome though, man? Handsome's my shit. Bitch, I'm dude, handsome, dude. dude. You and in on that, bro. bro. And I, and I, handsome and I, was the city boy anthem, dude. Boy, it is. And then I've always personally loved like I'm a Biggie fan, Rick Ross. Like when the bigger guys are fucking talking their shit, you know, what I'm saying confident, fucking dude. spitting confident. game, got that confidence. Yeah, man, I, I feel like that would be one that would get people hyped, man. No, it will. That that's one I would play in a room with. If, if I'm in a room with Jay Z, like play me something. I'm playing handsome. Nice, like, dude. I'm playing handsome, and I'll probably do uh, another like one where I'm really talking on it too. Oh, on, well, on hold on, let me look. Let me look. When you're really talking, you were talking on laughing my pain. Yeah, that's my shit. Now is that a, I was assuming Kevin Hart reference a little bit because he, he had a stand up called so, Laughing My Pain or something. He did have one. Called okay, but pain. nothing, no relation but, to that. <clears throat> No, nah, not really. Okay, okay. So basically, like we said, I'm a comedian. Yeah. Um, is that you on the beginning? And, huh? Is that you on the beginning of that? Yeah. One? That's you on there. Yeah. I thought so. Wow. Yeah, I thought that was you. Wow. And middle. Or you, what did you yeah. say? You were you were uh, trying to get out of Cheeto or? Uh, oh, I said. Uh, what was you the joke? About, so, you were talking about being homeless and hunger or something yeah, like that. Yeah. What I, was the joke? I saw some homeless guys fighting over a Cheeto. Almost jumped yeah. in. Or yeah. Something yeah. Like yeah. That. yeah. So I saw two squirrels fighting over. Oh, Cheeto squirrels! That's what it was. Yeah. So the joke is, I'm about broke as McDonald's ice cream machine. So. Whatever I go do, oh, that's good. Fully broke. That's good. So whenever I see, uh, like, whenever I go do a stand up for, like a younger crowd, everybody's broke. Like, I'm yeah, going, yeah. that's the first joke I'm hitting. Like, I, my name is Trent McLean. I like uh, long walks on the beach, uh, moonlit picnics, and I'm broke. Like, y'all just be like, that's how I bring it in. I'm so broke. My Send wallet died of starvation profile. last week. <laughs> <laughs> it's just different. different there's a like, there's a GoFundMe for the funeral. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so, oh, that's good, yeah. man. So, uh, laugh of my pain was about like. Yeah, I'm a comedian, but like if you really like break down the joke, like I'm telling like real life struggles that I got. The yep. mm -hmm. the the middle one I believe is uh I don't know if y'all can tell, but like I'm a giant. I don't I don't mm. fit in nothing. I don't you know what I'm saying? Like cars, planes, trains, trucks, like tr but like the the real joke is like I just don't fit in anywhere. Mm. Like mm. I've always been different. Like I mean cuz I have to be like right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 And, Absolutely. Mm -hmm, and the uh, Overlook Heroes, I even said it like I'm built different, literally and figurative, like Ooh. figuratively, like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. that kind Take of thing. Take it all the way around, man. Talented, bro. Talented. If we're uh, if we're talking about songs that I would, you're sitting in front of Jay Z. I I gotta be honest. There's one we haven't mentioned yet. It might be my favorite song of yours. Yeah. Uh, it's off the album. Uh, you for me. Oh yeah, that's dude. Shit. That. That song is polished, uh, and it will. Uh, I'm blanking on her last name. Was it Jasmine? Jasmine Christian. Jasmine Christian yeah. did the feature. She sounds amazing on there. How that Jasmine song come Christian. to be? Yeah, shout out Jasmine <laughs> Christian, dude, because that that song that sounded like a radio hit to me. Yeah, like that sounded that. like that should be on 98.3 1011 out here. Like Man. that sounded like that could easily be on the radio. Man, I appreciate that for real. So when, when it was album time, like I couldn't get nobody. I couldn't get nobody to feature with me. I couldn't get nobody to like Should sing. Call me, man. I heard, yeah, that hurts, yeah, it hurts yeah, me to hear that. We would have like, been there, dude. Yeah. <laughs> so every, every single feature on uh, on that album is just my homeboy, like home or homegirl. So you had a bunch on there too. Yeah, you yeah. actually you got the guys to come MC, out then. Yeah, too. MC, you had a so, D. You had to yeah, come King out. E. Yeah, yeah, King King E. That's that's my best friend. Like one of my best friends in the world. His name's E. Wow. He, he actually lives right down the street. Um, who else I had? MC Double D. That's yep. that's my mother's husband. That's my stepfather. What? No way. Wait, really? What? Yeah, the, the step the, pops was on? Uh huh. The We Rock yeah. crew that's on that yeah. same song. Yeah, yeah. That, that, that's that's my uncle's rap group from 1980s. Bro, Is that sample? What? Yeah. Or, oh my god, yeah, dude, that's, that's, that's sick. I was wondering what that was because it has that old school vibe. I was like, mm -hmm. what the fuck? I've never heard this. Yeah. Wow. This, yeah, so, wow. That's what they're so The whole We that's Rock crew on there. Yep. MC Jeffrey G, uh, MC Universe, and uh, DJ Terry T. Those those my uncles. They're they're hip hop legends in Baltimore. Like. Dude, man. Yeah, so uh, them, uh, <clears throat> me and DB, the producer I was telling you about, he... he uh, you guys have he, Busted Down on yeah, there? He's on Busted Down. Yeah. Uh, Jasmine is is one of my best friends in the world. Justin, Justin Christian, is, Jasmine is his little sister. Okay. Like, Got it, okay. Again, like I had to go bottom, like <clears throat> wherever I could go to find somebody to feature. My boy D-Mags, he hopped on a song with me. He like he's just a kid I went to school with. He don't rap. He don't do nothing. I just wrote wow. it. I wrote it and I was like, "Yo, rap this." 
So you kind of pulled like a Bill Belichick roster together, dude. You had like, <laughs> you had you had you as a Tom Brady, and then uh-huh. you just pulled like a Walmart cashier in for, uh, <laughs> like, for the wide receiver. Exactly. Yeah, dude. Yep, like uh, uh, the song "Wet." That was my homegirl Illy. Yeah. Oh, like, she, yeah. Okay. I, I wrote it. She rapped it. I did the feature on it. Is that Bu- Bueno Illy? Baby? Bueno uh-huh. Baby. Oh, go on. I'm wet. What it was, Bueno Baby. Yeah, yeah, Bueno yeah. Baby. That's just my homegirl. Did you write all of all of uh, you for me, and then she sang that? Uh-huh. Shit, you wrote that that no. part too. Yeah. Damn, wow. dude. dude, I'm telling you, that's a beautiful song, dude. Like it, it spoke it. to me, dude. I'm like, I'm, you got like, like I said, strip club anthems. You got country bangers, dude. Like, dude. you're all over the map. It's dude, diverse. But I'm telling you, that one was just like that one hit me in the feelings, dude. And, and, and yeah, it was a radio. It. Like, I, it was clean. It was just a clean song, dude. Yep, love that. My notable one on that album, speaking of that, Jared, was was Goya featuring King E because mm. Mm. of the sample in the beginning, which I think is Mike Epps' best stand-up, yeah. underrated, never faded, and X-rated. Uh-huh. I've probably seen that stand-up no less than 15 times, and I <laughs> cry every time I watch it, <laughs> yeah. dude. It's dude, he just nails it from front to end. I love the Nobody sample. So funny, man. Dude, he's great. He's from uh he's from Indianapolis, <laughs> yeah, Indiana. From Indy. So oh, he's yeah, oh dude, that. yeah, and dude, so let me tell you, his no his wonder. portrayal of like dudes you grew up in the neighborhood are very accurate <laughs> to Indiana standards, yeah, bro. I've been, like, to, I've been to the region. Yeah, yeah you know what's up. You know what's up. All right, Jared, there's one more song, um, unless you have one that I want to get to. I actually got a couple off the yes, album, dude. Keep going. I, I, keep I really going. love the album, Truck. I really love the album. On my way, right? Yeah, I think I really think you I think you did your thing on that one, dude. I love, I love a lot of the singles and stuff, but I just Jared felt like loves going in on the music, bro. dude. So I just, just well, segment. just especially when you put together an album like that, dude. Like you took the time to to say like, hey, I want to put together like a full project, and and you arrange the songs the way you do, and like, do big timers on there. Oh, banger, <laughs> dude, banger. Hey, do I see a relation there? Did that like play into Big Stepper or or, or whatever? Did so because it's it almost has a similar vibe to yeah, it. Yeah. So Biddy actually wrote the hook for for big for, for pressure. Big, Oh, pressure. For pressure. Yeah. First, that's what it was. Pressure. So, Sorry, not pressure. the song. Yeah, pressure. Big pressure. step. Yep. Big so, step. Yeah. A big step. Yeah. Big. I put out. <laughs> so funny story about big big timers. I I I drove buses. I had my CD. I got my CDL. No I, was, way. I was driving that's for awesome. Valley Metro. Get so, out of here. Out here. Yeah. That's so cool. I was on the bus. I was riding down the street. This man, seen some in, things. In the yes. <laughs> <laughs> and the hook just came to my head. Just popped in. Boom. I pulled the bus over. With people on there and everything. Oh, I, I, had to, I had to write it down, yo. <laughs> I had to write this oh, shit down. He I didn't even hey Siri, write this down. Hey no, Siri, no, write it down. No. I pulled That's the bus right funny, over. Dude. Wrote that. And I was like, all right, I got a hook. Boom. Finished the route. Before I even left the parking lot for work, I had the whole song written. Get out of here. And for some reason, I don't know why, I end up writing whole songs before I even have a beat for them. That's, That's crazy. Cool, though. And... That was one of the ones. Like I just went, I looked up like a cl- like a club beat, boom, and like that one took forever to find. Like the beat for it, but it worked so well. <laughs> <laughs> and I found it, and I was like, "Yep, this is going on the album. This is it? This is in yeah. it?" Yeah, hell yeah! I love that one. You get treat her good, beat her good, then get something to eat. <laughs> <laughs> How you get it's like that. It's like a Drake line. Drake has a line yeah. like that. He's like, what does he say? He goes, type of suck you dry, then get some food yeah, or yeah, something yeah. like that. I like all some, my girls, yeah. BBW. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah type yeah. of suck you dry, and get some food. Yeah. 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 Fuck, man. Yeah, that one Get yourself killed. a DIME. Yeah. <laughs> I treat it good, I beat it good, and then we get something to eat. Yeah. All right. Well, I got to hit on Bust It Down. Yeah. Uh, you know, I got to just, I just got to comment. Jump in that ass like Tigger, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, dude. Come on, dude. Come on. Oh, when you can make man. Winnie the Pooh funny and sexual, dude. I mean, that's, <laughs> jump in that ass like Tigger. Just the visual is just the, because oh, Tigger bounced around with such enthusiasm. You and that's why. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? T- he wasn't like, oh, hey, Listen, yeah. You got to be enthusiastic in that culture. You can't, that's you can't, what be, I'm saying, you can't be lazy in the culture. You can't do it. <laughs> no. You gotta, dude. You got to jump right in there. <laughs> double, double good. You got to get in there. You got to bounce in there. You can't just you can't just slip in there, dude. You got to really. Gotta, I like that work in. Yeah. That's fine. And then uh, I got to just I just had to hit on past the torch. Not even like a particular line in there, but dude, I just swear it was like if Rick Ross and Busta Rhymes somehow like like cloned a child together or something like that. <laughs> That's that's roughly what I would think it, that they would sound like, dude. It, and it's sick because you don't always sound like that, like, yeah, and it's. Yeah. Ah, just the versatility, dude. I yeah, love it, dude. It's, it's incredible. Crazy. I feel like you really flexed on that, that album, too. dude. Man. <laughs> yeah? How many times did you have to pull the bus over? You know what I mean? Oh, the, um, pull the bus over was that one time. Okay, okay. I, I didn't... I wasn't putting nobody life in danger. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say, you did that on baseline, dude. Yeah, <laughs> It'd be a problem, no, dude. It was, it was literally lower Buckeye. 
Oh, Get out of here. Yeah, oh, it was? Yeah, oh, right shit. Right <laughs> okay. Right right so you were out over there. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. yeah. My parents so, live out there. Yeah. <laughs> so, so I, uh, shit. The, uh, past the torch, I was on the bus again, but I wasn't driving. I was, uh, I was like in a backup position that day where I was just like out in the city, just in a bus ready for one of them to break down because they broke down every day. Oh. So I'm just sitting on the bus and they I just got started a bus writing. bullpen, dude. Yeah, they got a bullpen. <laughs> they do. Yeah. You get walk out music even they get the yeah. call. Big time. That's right, dude. That's funny. Shit, I knew they were gonna need Big Daddy today. <laughs> <laughs> Are we ready? Yeah. <laughs> That's the noise, dude. The, the air breaks. That's air funny is funny. <laughs> Put that thing in sport, dude. <laughs> Them things really take off, though. I, I bet, dude. You. I bet, dude. It's a diesel engine, right? Yeah. Them things take off on you. Them things go. <laughs> the way I've been getting cut off by them, I would assume they're going fast, dude. That's amazing. Damn. Dude, this is awesome, bro. Yeah. All right. You, you go, go Jay. No, go. That, that was it from the album, dude. I mean, okay. I a couple other songs, but yeah, man. I was going to touch on because I feel like this may be a good uh, kind of outro into the next segment. Um, it's Biggest Fan. Um, because mm. you know you're con you talk about your confidence on ten. I feel like I'm the man. I'm my own biggest fan. I think that's important, especially in like something like this we do, Jared. Because it's like you know you're a humble guy. I can tell, but there is times where like shout out your God will say talk your shit, and I think it's okay to do that every now and again. Is that what that song kind of was for you? So I always had an issue with confidence growing up, and uh, so biggest fan was like one of the first songs I ever wrote. Not the first one I put out. So I wrote Biggest Fan before I wrote Ice. Wow. After I wrote The uh, Booty. Okay. Boom, boom. So this is like, early. Yeah, I like love this. Very early. So I, I went in the, the studio. I'm just talking about different vibes that I'd be on. Uh, Hood Booty and Biggest Fan were recorded in the same studio on the same night. Wow. Wow. Yeah. So. Wow. <laughs> wow. We need um, for Truck's career, we need like instead of BC and AB, we need like P P B A what is it? H B? Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. P H B U. So those were recorded on the same night. But I mean, I just always had a had an issue with confidence, you know what I'm saying? Like always let other people tell me exact like what I should be, what I shouldn't, you know what I'm saying? And like I was always like uh it was always just like fuck everybody for real. Like I said, I was quiet. So it was always yeah. just like fuck everybody, I'm gonna do what I want, but you know what I'm saying? I'm not going to be loud about it. Mm -hmm, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, I'm just, mm -hmm. whatever. And at that time, I was just coming in my own, like, bro, like, you're fucking, you're the, you're dope. Like, you have to think yeah. you're dope for other people to think you're dope. Yeah. Kind of thing. And uh, I sat on the couch with my boy, Big U, shout out, shout out, uh, Sam Lager. Uh, sat on the couch, and, like, he was sitting there watching, what were we? we were watching Seinfeld. <laughs> oh, nice. <laughs> what episode? <laughs> Don't, don't tell remember. me it was Vandalay Industries. Was, was, that. That's my favorite, dude. And you want to be my latex salesman. Dude. That shit kills me, dude. That shit fucking kills me. Seinfeld is my shit. Seinfeld is legit. That's my I shit. feel like I have... I, sorry, not to be too much of a That's to go off but, on a tangent. But but I, I have a I have a, like a rant I go on about Seinfeld. I feel like that was the start of like modern like meme humor where mm -hmm. like the close oh. talker and the puffy shit, yep. the way they name shit, like, they, like, like yeah. the way we name memes. I don't yeah. know. I just That's a good I feel point. like that was like... It was pre-social media and all that, but I felt like they they were keyed in on that. Exactly. That, well, the way people were going there. Sorry, keep going. Yeah. No, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Segment. I Shout out like Jerry Seinfeld. Seinfeld is one of like the best written sitcoms of all time. Yeah, but Jerry Seinfeld gonna catch a B off that show. Yeah, so. <laughs> <laughs> he's doing okay. <laughs> exactly. So yeah, I'm just sitting on the couch. I'm, I'm I'm just I'm just I think I had a bad day at practice, and like it was I knew it was, it was always me mentally. Like mm. that was fucking me up. Mm. So like we're back at the crib watching TV. I'm just sitting there. Writing, writing this song. I feel like I'm the man. I'm my own biggest fan. And like, it didn't have a Cali feel at first. Mm -hmm. It was, it was more of like, uh, like, <clears throat> I'd say like a Meek Mill kind of feel. It, it was dreams like, and nightmare. Yeah, like more, more of like that at first. Like, it, it wasn't Cali at all. So, by the end of the night, I had a, the full song written, and I'm just going through beats, and I'm like, oh, I don't like this, right? And I was like, let's see, hold on. I went and found a Cali beat. First one I found. I feel like I'm the man. I'm my own big like and that song changed so much for me as far as confidence. Like wow. whenever I feel like I'm bullshit, like I go listen to that song and I feel amazing. And really That's I wrote amazing. it, like of course for me, but 
I wrote it so that everybody listening to it can sit there and say like, yo, no, I'm the shit. Like, yeah. dude, I love that. It's like it's like a stepping stone because like a lot of guys might not uh, go on YouTube and be like positive affirmation meditation. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? Yeah. But right. if they know that song, dude, they're gonna be like, you know what? That's damn close enough, yeah, dude. They, At least they're saying it. And my <laughs> homegirls love that song too. Like everybody, everybody can say, I feel like I'm the I'm the man. I'm a, it just make it like. I don't know, it's just the energy thing. behind it just make make me and from what I've seen everybody else just feel good about themselves and I love it. That's 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 a big thing I do with my music. Bitch, I'm handsome. Yeah, <laughs> dude, you, I can't, love you it. can't not feel like you you a, a ten out of ten when yep. you listen to that song. Yeah. Like you for just at can't. least a brief moment, dude. <laughs> so at least a, 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 just a little flash in the pan. I feel like a Brad Pitt. <laughs> I actually I actually got the the lyrics to Biggest Fan tattooed on my arm. No way. The whole, the whole song's right here, dude. What? Yep. I knew that. I knew that you song was speaking to me. Tatted on the belt too, and the belt, <laughs> man. Oh.